And welcome back, folks, to another exciting episode of Ax Fatalis. We are currently in the Goblin King's Reservation. And I'm not sure, I, I kind of want to steal these leggings, but I guess we're gonna do that later. Right now I need to open this chest and I have an idea. I mean, I do have a key from Artok. And it seems to open it. Huh. Ow, and there's a troll idol. What the, what was that sound? Who are you? What? Me, treasure! Curse you! Me with the Goblin King! Me with the case! All day! All night, even! A lot are his big dummy! Him not deserve crown! Him not know how to handle even dumber troll! But all did you fall! Me kill you for wrecking me, gentle crown! Oh no. Master, you break. You cannot break it just like that. Ah, sturdy. it worked. It worked. Just like that. It's too sturdy for me to break. Okay, now how do I cancel the spell? Um to break. You cannot break it just like that. It's too sturdy for me to break. You cannot break it just like that. That's a way. <laughs> okay. A saber. Huh. That sounds promising. But I don't think I have the ability to use it actually. Ooh, armor. A key. Little metal key. Apply that. Cursed ring of misery. Why would I ever want to equip that? Well. I guess that means uh, the mystery has been solved. Artok tried to defeat the king, basically, uh, by sabotaging the. Uh, oh, and he killed the guard. By sabotaging the. Uh, oh, that's a lot of cool stuff they have. By sabotaging the uh, gem trade and a helmet. I'm gonna try and equip that. And the torch, there we go. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here and, and get all this stuff. Well, but it didn't work, clearly. So, there you go. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna take all this stuff. Well, okay, not that, I guess. And not that. Some pretty good bucklers, uh, or shields, I suppose. Just gonna put these here, because now that the guard is dead, I don't think anybody will notice me stealing stuff. Can I equip the uh, chain leggings? I can! Even better. Things are starting to look up. There we go. I just don't want to, you know, risk getting in trouble with any more guards if they s still think I'm not supposed to be in there or something like that. So let's just remove everything. I should be able to take it all at some later point. Now I'm actually nicely equipped, I would say. Chain. Chain mail is not bad. Me, important guard of Lord Alatar, stupid human. That's great for you. Well, in any case, we, uh, oh, right, I should probably also bring the troll idol. That's the one thing we were trying to get to, right? So let's put down the, the, the rope there. There we go. And actually bring that along. It's a giant skull. Maybe that's actually a troll skull that they painted or something. I guess that's maybe like ancestor worship or something. It might be the troll skull of one of their chieftains. Hmm. Maybe it's a sculpture. I'm really just speculating, honestly. Ah, he's back on his seat then. Okay. Leave me alone. But I got you the stupid thing. Ah, I talk traitor. Him too jealous. That's all you gotta say. All right then. I guess that means I am now free to return to the trolls and hand it over. Yeah, he's still looking into the treasure room. I guess he's trying to figure out how those gems vanished. <laughs> You'll never know. Right. Damn it. 
Really gotta stop doing that. That's the wrong way to go. It's a very powerful spell, but I really need to learn how to stop using it continuously. Should be pretty pretty easy to do, actually. Right. Here's something I want to figure out, by the way. I know there are some spells that don't actually show up in your spell book. Yeah. I think that might be fire. And that might be ice because it's upside down. I'm just guessing here, but if I remember correctly, there are actually ice spells. So let me just try this. Um, let's try creating an ignite spell, but using ice. Ah, that means it fizzled, so that's nothing. But maybe I can do a ice field. How about that? Whoa! Look at that. It's an ice field. Yeah. It's not an official spell. It's not part of my spellbook. But you can actually try stuff that's not in your spellbook. And the spells all follow the same logic. So if you have something like ice, the rune for ice, then you can apply that like you would other elements. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, now where's that troll? I want you to get back to work for my friend Alota. There he is. Hey, Pug. Here you go. Thank you. Trolls will have Ido back. Ido give it to trolls when we live on outside with King Nog. Ah, oh, it's it got history. Now, we help each other. Yes. Now we help you. My people is move rocks out the way. Aruga. Onda. Block war. Very nice. And I think now they should actually have removed the rocks so we can go to Arx in a more direct route. But before we do that, we should probably keep exploring a little bit more. There's still some places that uh, I only skimmed, really. On the other hand, we are kind of overburdened again. Hmm. Yeah, it's a current... It, it, it's a constant bane. Open the gate and let me pass. I'm gonna try and bring something, like one of the armor pieces or something. Yeah. And once that's done, I can uh, return via the crystal caves for now, because if you remember, there were still crystals there that I couldn't mine then. So now I have the uh, pickaxe, so we can go a little bit mining again. I really like the armor I have right now. I mean, uh, I guess completely magical leather armor might be better than chainmail, but oh, hey. A fisherman. You not mess with us, human. Yes, I'm very threatened. Could just push him over and into the water. What the? That was kind of threatening. It was another vision, but not as... It had a very different quality from the one we had earlier. Oh well. Okay, so I don't think... Oh. oh. It's back. Okay. It doesn't have any meat, though. So... Why don't we cook that while we're here? Cook it, I said. There we go, that's better. Okay. Now, I don't think we can actually mine these crystals. I, I'm gonna try it, but 
Yeah, they, they cannot be interacted with. So we're gonna have to uh, look around for other types of crystals. Maybe they're too big and thus too strongly anchored or something, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. So it seems that sometimes the enemies actually come back in a way. Hmm. Okay, but they don't have more food on them then. Ah, there's something. I'm just gonna quickly walk through these tunnels and uh, try and get all the gems for completion's sake, of course. It's not a not a huge area after all. Well, it's still infested with rats. And nothing here, yeah, like I thought. Small spiders, but they are not back to life, apparently. Big spider, nothing here. That's too bad, I was really hoping... Ah, there we go. Can really start making some real competition, you know. To I I'm really becoming proper competition to the trolls by now. I've got so many gems. already got a bunch of them back in arcs. Just put them on the ground, of course, but uh, luckily nobody steals from you, even if you steal from everybody else. Right, now... Let's also check out the other section. Yeah, so that's the way back up to arcs, so that's good. Stupid mouse, or rather rat. The mice are nice in this game. The rats are not. The mice are nice, but the rats are brats, is what I'm trying to say. Oh. Yeah, I already looted it. Okay. I know there is one cave. Yeah, that one with the uh, really ugly spider in it. So maybe there's some more stuff in there. Let's first check this area. Now. Oh. Yeah, there's stuff here too. Very nice. Keep. I keep picking up my pickaxe even though I want to use it actually. Oh well. Not a big deal. We're almost done here, so. And then, once the uh, tunnel's actually cleared out, which should be the case now, we can kinda go the direct route from the trolls to. or rather from the goblins to uh, the human land. Guess I was wrong. I thought there would be more crystal stone here, but apparently not. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's go back to Lunsha and uh, tell him of our great success with King Pug. Right. So there's a ton of items over there. I'm, I'm not going there just yet, but we're gonna do that later. So we're gonna go to uh, to our king and talk to him. Can kind of get a better impression of Ark. I mean, it's dark and kind of gloomy, but it's actually pretty big, pretty huge place. And I guess the humans are one of the, if not the strongest or rather largest faction in terms of numbers, at least. Oh, I guess that's wrong. I mean, the goblins are very numerous, too. But the trolls, at least, seem to be very few and far between. And the Ilsids, whatever they are, I mean, they seem to specialize in being awesome, but very few. I mean, just three of them attacked that outpost, so there doesn't seem to be a huge number of them. Or a need for a huge number, either. But this is an actual kingdom, I would say. I mean, I don't know how many people... How many people actually live in Arx? Probably a, just a few dozen, maybe a few hundred, but... Certainly a lot more than we've seen in terms of trolls. We need more information about the earthquakes. 
It's getting more and more troubling. Minor tremors have always been a part of life in arcs, but there's no denying that they've become more frequent of late. I suspect that the energy channel created by Akbar's worshippers must disturb the natural order. It must stop, and soon. Do you think there's danger of a general collapse? If this were the case, our order would have discovered it. The real danger at the moment is Akbar. Be vigilant, both of you. And warn me the minute you have news. Hmm. Seems there's more trouble afoot. Let's talk to lunch either. Thank you once more, Amshigar. The rocks have been cleared. You have once again earned our thanks and this reward. You have proven yourself a valuable asset to the kingdom. And I shall have to consider a more official role for you here. Ah, yes. How would you like it Your if I Your Majesty, made you a... we have discovered signs that another ritual has taken place. <sighs> That's the third one in less than a week. Where this time? Just by the air duct, Your Majesty. Do you think this could be connected with the Fallon Orbaplanix murder? Probably. I'll get my new friend to look into it. Thank you, Caleb. You may go. Very good, sire. Well then, what do you think of this? I suggest you investigate this shady sect, who I am almost sure have executed Fallon Orbiplanix, our old astronomer. I need someone who is not known as an agent of the king, a fearless man. Will you serve me in this role? This is all somewhat confusing, your majesty. But I could certainly look into it. I know you will not disappoint me. You will be free to question any of my people in your investigations. Guards, give this man free reign of the castle's private quarters. In addition, dear Amshigar, here is the key to one of my royal chambers. It is now yours. Please consider it your new home. That is a most kind gesture. Don't mention it. We shall hold a council meeting as soon as you bring back news of these disturbing events. Intriguing. I guess we got our own room now, and Amshaga is starting to take on the role of King Langshire's investigator? Soldier? I don't know. Hmm. Guess I don't have free access to the private quarters, only to particular rooms. Amshaga's quarters. Very nice. Food! A bag. This will be helpful. See this? I now have more inventory space. Oh, this was awesome. I so needed that. Yeah. I don't think I'm really gonna use these quarters. They're too small. I can't store all of my junk there. But it's very nice of the king to give us this item. This backpack, which allows us access to, you know, much more looting than before. Huh, interesting. A force field of sorts. In one of these structures, yet again. But I don't see any purpose to them yet. It's kind of veiny looking, this force field. Kind of disgusting, actually. Oh well. Very good, nevertheless. Lunshire's own room, I probably... Yeah, I, I was doubting that I would get in there. Yeah, none of them. So he bears. Okay. He's a creepy guy, but I don't have the key for his room. Hello. Hello. Hi. Felon Obi Planax quarters. So that's the guy who got murdered. I can't even visit his room? How am I supposed to investigate his murder if I can't look into his stuff? There might be something relevant there that would lead me to the motivation of the murder. I need to talk to Lunshire again, I think. Maybe I can get in there somehow. May the gods help you in your investigations. 
Nah, uh, I guess not. I guess I'll have to figure that stuff out on my own somehow. Hmm. That's not good. Well, now that I have more room in my bags, let's at least loot a little bit more. That's yeah, still locked. Stupid room. I'm gonna make sure to loot the entirety of this kitchen now. Uh huh, uncooked chicken drumsticks. She looks angry. She doesn't sound angry though. Da -da -da. Indeed. So that's the goblin cookbook. It's nice that uh, even in the human lands they do some international cuisine, you know. I mean, the, the, the king will probably enjoy that a lot. I'm just gonna take everything I can. <laughs> oh, he feels tired. What a poor guy. Uh, you know, the cooking, as always, I'm gonna do that, oh, it, as mostly, I'm gonna do that off-screen, so it doesn't bother you too much. Hmm, should I make bread? Or cakes? Or even apple pie? I don't know. I guess apple pie would be the most uh, tasty thing to do. Right, I didn't pick that up before. It's a healing spell. Didn't... Yes, good night, my friends. Have a good night while I rob you. I like how they sleep in full armor. That's the most comfortable way to sleep, after all. I can't believe it. He swore blind he wouldn't snore. <laughs> Too bad. That's it. I think he must be dead. What a relief. <laughs> Let's try and get some sleep. I like these guards. No. I really need to get some new ones. <laughs> he started snoring again, great. Ah, oh, poor guy. What is that thing? What? A dead chicken? Where did that come from? I didn't kill it. Weird. Somebody drew something on the wall with a dead chicken. That's kinda grim. Okay, well, let's keep going. I wanted to go to the snake woman anyway, because, uh, remember Gru? He wants uh, a picture, or at least Borvaka thinks that he wants a picture from the outside world. And books often have pictures, don't they? A book. A book? The Order of Odernium. That's a lot of text. We're gonna take these and uh, read them at some other point. I'm just gonna rent them. Don't worry, I'm not stealing. Guide of Travelers. That sounds very interesting, actually. So I guess I can only take a couple of these books, which is fine. Ancient Gods. Okay. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to run into your chest. History of Arcs. None of these seem to have any pictures. Kings of Arcs. Hmm. Great inventions of Arcs. Races of Arcs. That is interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to read about the different races, because we've encountered a couple so far, but I think there are plenty more, actually. Know your gods and demons? Yeah, definitely. Taking, like, half the library. <laughs> and that seems to be all. Ah! Now I have access here, too. Okay. Here's a little rat. Lock. I'll steal your fern. Oh, a snowdrop flower. That sounds interesting. Magic of potions. Definitely gonna help be helpful if we want to do any of our own alchemy. What is that thing? It seems to be another force field of sorts. 
And there's something in there. Hello, who are you exactly? I am Felnor, alchemist of the kingdom, and friend of the late Fallon Orbiplanix. Who was Fallon Orbiplanix? Fallon was our astronomer. He died a few days ago. I think he was about to bring to light a terrible plan, but he never got time to say more about it. I'm huh. investigating the rituals and the death of Fallon Orbiplanix. All I can tell you is that these two things are linked. I have here a note that Fallon gave me the day he died, in case anything happened to him. I never really understood what it meant. Maybe you will understand. Thank you, Felnor. That will be that will come in handy, I'm sure. Ooh, look at that! Lots of reagents. And here we can actually make potions if we want to. Yep. I don't think it takes a lot, actually. I'm just gonna steal all your stuff while you're using it. Sorry. Don't you worry, I got this. There we go. So, uh, making potions is not that difficult, I believe. For instance, uh, let's look at the magic of potions, why not? Find an empty bottle. Then a reagent. When you have this, crush it into a powder. Put it into... Okay, let, let's read it in full. Making your own potions is both easy and straightforward. All it takes is meticulousness and patience. First, you must find an empty bottle. Obviously. Next, you need the reagent specific to each potion. When you have this, crush it into a fine powder in a pestle and mortar, then put it in an empty vial. Heat the mixture with a still. The potion is ready. The following list of known and recognized reagents. Mana potions use powdered lily, blue powder. Antidote use medicinal herbs, purple powder. Invisibility potion, ooh, use powdered snowdrop flower, white powder. Poison use ferns, green powder. Healing potions use powdered water lily, flower, orange powder. Okay, well, do I have any empty bottles? Yes. Let's use, uh, let's try and make a healing potion, shall we? Uh, there it is. A bottle full of orange powder. Well, then let's use a still then. I do not yet have the skill to do that. <sighs> I guess I'm not good enough. Okay. Can I maybe create something else? Maybe not something as awesome as that. Maybe a mana potion. Or a po... I'm just gonna try the different ones that I have now. I have plenty of empty bottles. Uh, there we go. Guess a purple one too. Maybe they have different requirements. I do not yet have the skill to do that. Yeah, they do have different requirements, but I'm not good enough for either. I do not yet have the skill to do that. Ah, but I did make a poison potion. I do not yet have the skill to do that. Okay, interesting. Now, poison can be applied to weapons. I currently use an axe, but it's pretty damaged. So let's try and get a better axe before... Ooh! It's open! Why is it open? I don't care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use all these. Vista. Mega. Okay. Yok. I already have Yok, but I'm gonna take him anyway. Cetrius. Tar. And Yok. Wait. Did I just use Yok again? Ah, damn it. I guess I wasted the, the rune, actually. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Now I have a lot of spells. Oh, wow, I even can go up to number 10. That is incredible. I'm gonna have so much fun with these spells in the next episode, I can tell you. <laughs> I didn't find any pictures, though. Maybe I can talk to her about pictures. Wouldn't you have drawn this pentagram in blood? Anyone who knows anything about the magic arts would know that this symbol protects us from the demon. Since our astronomer, Fallon Orbiplanix, was murdered, I can feel that something evil is hanging over the whole of arts. And what about these rituals? 
who killed Orb of Planix. Darkness pours from these rituals. The death of Valen Orb of Planix has all the signs of black magic and its evil practices. Valen was a good man, righteous and steadfast. I suppose he found out the truth about who is carrying out these rituals. Very interesting, but not what I was trying to talk to you about. I come in search of a book which contains pictures of the outside world. This is the book you're looking for. Take it. It's yours. Thank you. Let's look at the picture book. Landscapes of the outside world. Guess I can't look at it though. But this must be what Gru would like for his birthday, so that's awesome. Thank you, weird snake lady. You're actually very helpful. Let's talk to uh, to that new astronomer. I mean, he uh, didn't he say that he used to be the apprentice of Falon? Maybe he knows more about this. Weaverus, what can you tell me about the rituals? Do you know who killed Fallon Orbiplanix? Really, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I'm still just a novice in my art. And on top of that, I hate violence. That's not very helpful, Swooper Swooperus. What did the stars tell you? My job demands high levels of concentration, you know. You're not being very helpful here. A lot. Hmm. Well, folks, I think we're gonna have to take a break at this point. Even though I got a new backpack, I'm completely overburdened again. So next time, we are gonna... I don't know yet. We'll either explore some more, or we're gonna try and solve this murder. I mean, I would like to see Gru again and give him that book, uh, the book with the pictures of the landscape, so he might like that. And also, I'm definitely gonna try and get my hands on a new weapon that I can poison, maybe. That could help. In fact, why don't we do that now, just before we end it? Shouldn't take too long. If I remember correctly, the guard room actually has uh, a couple more weapons. And they don't seem to miss it. You know, they, they don't seem to miss them when I take them, so... Let's try doing that. Hmm. What else do we have here? Well, there's another axe. It's actually half damage. Hmm. A shield. It's too heavy for me to use. A metal shield. That I could use, I think. And two-handed sword. I don't think I have the cap capability for that yet. Okay, well, um, need to make some room. Guess I should have. Hmm. There we go. Now there's enough room to put the axe in. Assuming they don't start attacking me over this. Nope. And the shield, please. Thank you. I'm just gonna take this over here. And equip this now. Much better. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of stealing everything to get, get my hands on, but that's the way it's played after all. And you can see that the, uh, my pile, or rather my storage area is pretty insane by now. Okay, so this axe has 19 durability. This axe has 25, not very good. This one is 23, so I suppose we're gonna drop this one. I'm gonna equip this, and now we're gonna try and apply the poison. It's actually very simple to do that. Just go into inventory and try it to do it. Now, 
This weapon has been poisoned. Very good. The poison will eventually wear off. I think it has like a couple of charges, like attacks in it, you know. And once that's over... Yeah, but up until that point it's green like that and it'll also inflict, of course, poison damage, so that's good. I think we'll end it here now with all our stuff. I'm gonna empty my inventory some more. And next time we... I think we're gonna try to explore some more because that's honestly the most in interesting part to do right now. So, see you next time, folks. Bye!